Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to just share with you another story. Letting you know that your narcissist mother never loved you. And this is important. Because no matter if we have a mother or father that was a narcissist. It's hard to see them for what and who they really are. And that is an evil being that wants nothing more than to cause us suffering and pain. But the problem many of us have with our narcissist mothers. Is society puts the mother. No matter how bad she has behaved and no matter what she has done. As if she levitates above everyone. And the narcissist mother plays every bit of it up. And they use this social dynamic to escape accountability time and time again. And they oftentimes ruin their children's lives. And if the father is a good man. And is fighting hard to get at least 50% custody. The system milks the man dry of all of his money. And gives the mother custody in most instances. Even if they are using substances they shouldn't be using. And even if they are in a shopping mall stealing everything that isn't nailed down. And using their young child as a human shield. Now I don't know if this. This demon behind me has a husband or boyfriend that is fighting to get his child away from her. I don't know. Who knows. The father might be a narcissist too. But. But he might not. I've done so many of these stories it hurts. Where the father was begging to have the child. While you have demons like this doing everything they can to put their child in harm's way. Now the news crew did call her a terrible mother. But I'm sure she was a terrible mother before this incident. So what happened? Well this woman. Excuse me. I mean demon. Was shoplifting hundreds of dollars worth of clothing at Dillard's in Texas along with a man who the news didn't identify the man as being the father to her child so we don't know but if he wasn't it's not a shock because the narcissist evil demon always has several people they are with both the men and women narcissists do this well they were both happily shoplifting all the while this mother excuse me i mean demon was putting the items she was stealing in her baby's stroller. But then something happened that I don't think she was expecting. The police showed up. And they arrested the man. And chased after the woman. The woman that was running from the cops while pushing a stroller with her child in it. Then she pushed the stroller at the police. As if to use her child as a human shield and as a distraction. So she would make her way to a getaway car. You literally can't make this stuff up people. You see. I've said something many times for years now. If you took away all of the money and things that narcissist women get simply for having a child. If you made things fair. To where both parents had to do their part. And it wasn't treated like a lottery system. That there would be mothers. Excuse me. I mean demons. Dropping their innocent children off in the middle of the street and abandoning them. You see. Now and then I watch some of those dating guru shows just to keep a pulse on what is happening to a degree. I don't follow them. But I check them out from time to time. And one thing they say that is horribly horribly off. That women want a high value man. To them a high value man is someone that is rich. They rarely address characteristics. Such as believing in God. But they say these women want a high value man so they can have someone to help protect them and their child. And to these women their child comes first. And to most of the women on those shows these women use their children as a human shield. Just like this evil mother. Just in a different way. 
they hook up with a rich man and have a child with them. Just for the child's support. They really don't love the child. They just love what the child can bring them. And if their child can bring them trips to Dubai and expensive designer handbags, then they need to have that kid. But if all of that was taken away from them tomorrow, and they had to bust their butt to pay to raise their child, and no, not getting on only fools to do it, most of these women would drop their children off at the nearest parking lot and take off never to see them again. You see, I grew up poor. But my mother only wanted children so she would get whatever little bit of money she could. She wasn't interested in staying married. She just wanted to live her weird narcissistic life. And getting a check to do so because myself and my golden child brother were born. And the minute the money was cut off. Because I turned 18. Mind you. My mother sabotaged my education my entire life and did her best to make sure I wasn't prepared for life. She told me. If you want to stay you have to get on the system some way or another. If you get on disability you can stay. If not. You're going to mess up my money. So you have to leave. Me being on planet earth. Made it so my mother could sleep all day and watch television and never work a day in her life. And there was never any kind of shame on her part for doing so. Our narcissist mothers never loved us. Simply because they were unable to. But we keep on trying to get them to love us like they are normal. Now maybe they never shoved our stroller with us in at at the cops. But they did things in our lives that showed the same lack of love and care this woman. Excuse me. I mean demon. Showed to her child. But hey. What do I know? I'm just a cartoon. But here it is. Another example showing. Your narcissist mother never loved you. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.